Officials in Evanston say they're dealing with threatening emails after revealing plans for remote learning and limited in-person instruction this fall. Now an investigation is underway. WGN's Brona Tumulty is live in Evanston with more on that. Brona. Good evening. That backlash started after a cable news outlet ran a story suggesting race was a factor in determining which children could potentially go back to in-person learning in September versus those who would be left to study remotely. Now, it seems that outlet got its wires crossed and some folks here in Evanston are under understandably fired up. I actually heard about it on Facebook just last night um, and it was extremely upsetting to me. Shannon Lang is a mother of two children, one of whom is in School District 65. She's going into fifth grade. And Lang, like other parents here, knew exactly what the district was planning when it came to kicking off the semester. Uh, this model that they put forth is how can we take care of the most marginalized in our community. The plan unveiled last month is to start everyone remotely in a couple of weeks. Then if all COVID-19 guidelines can be met and if staffing allows for it, the goal will be to introduce a hybrid model at the end of September. The board is only trying to do their best. But not everyone can come back due to social distancing requirements. So the board decided to use state guidelines to prioritize students for in-person learning. The students that are are prioritized to go back first are kids who are on free and reduced lunch, our kids who are struggling in the spring, our kids who are in special ed, our kids who are emerging bilingual. It just so happens in this community, many of the kids that meet that criteria are African American and Latino. About a week ago, a cable news outlet got wind of the story and it seems got its wires crossed in the process. It was misguided information. But unfortunately, it's not a lot of Evanston individuals that's doing it. It's a lot of individuals from across the country. That's District Superintendent Devon Horton, who says since that story aired, there's been a lot of backlash. We got them in emails. We got them on social media. They came uh, in, in multiple ways. He personally has received emails. Everything sort of, except for calling me uh, an but it's, 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 this is the culture and the climate that we currently live in. Uh, is racist. But it was one sent to the school board that ended up getting the police involved. It said uh, if, you, if you allow this to happen, um, something will happen uh, to you. Now we did try to obtain a copy of that threatening email, but it is obviously wrapped up in the ongoing police investigation, as are all of the other emails and letters and comments that were received. Uh, we are told that there are just shy of 8,000 students in this district, and approximately 40% of them qualify for the criteria or meet the criteria outlined by the state for in-person learning. Again, that in-person learning will only happen in September if COVID-19 precautions and guidelines are met and if staffing allows. Live in Evanston, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.